Greetings everyone, my name is Adderville, and welcome to my let's try of the demo of Dead of a Wish, a 2D action RPG in development by me less than three, a dedication to Scruffy, in your absence time and space collapse to a single point burning with possibility, but the flame is beginning to fade and a new world struggles to be born. Scruffy. I will not fail you. Select our difficulty. Hard plus normal. I played Luca, so I am already experienced with this combat system. Track Zero, Miseria Cantare, The Nightmares. You can't stop us, we don't fear them anymore. Hold Action Acquired. I'm not falling for that sneak attack. A vision of a past. Father lays his hand on my head, defying to ever say my name. And the rest they watch as you only kneel and suffer for it is right and just. It is right and just. Hold on to the moment, Christian, and feel it. Don't let it slip away. It's all we have to bring him forth. His END. Found Rewind. Essentially restarting the battle from the beginning. And they're not kidding, health is very precious in this game and hard to restore. Speaking of which... You can feel it closing in, the hate in your heart, spiraling inward. Take it. Take it! Recall Tech Parry. Dodge towards an attacking enemy with perfect timing to deflect enemy attack and deal guard damage. So a parry encounter. Health restored, progress saved, rewinds restored. The pain that drives you ties you to the stream. Do you feel purpose, drive, freedom? Feathers tinged with blood fall lightly upon your face. It drives you ever forward. Recall tech teleport. The walls of the sanctum take shape from the darkness. Water burns as it drips across your forehead. Every nerve screams out, No! No! 
But I have to. Open my eyes. Open my eyes! We're awake. All four of them must fall. Found memory of Christian. I loved you, I trusted you. But it wasn't enough. Found virtue cathartic. We have unstoppable equipped, which allows us to survive lethal damage once per combat. Okay, for a brief time after taking damage, deal damage to recover lost health. In fact, so far, pretty much all the mechanics of Luca make their return here. Victory pose. Uh... Anyways, we're gonna have to take down the Sanctum. Yeet. Can I deflect their shots back at? Yes, I can. You look tougher. Oh, shoot. You hit like an absolute truck. But once your guard's down, you fall very easily. Hmm. There he is. After all the Sanctum's done, all the people they've harmed, all the lives they destroyed, the faster they fall, the better. It's just two of them. As if they pose a challenge to me. Christian's soul mantra is awesome. Hesitation stat. 
There is no stopping what is about to happen. Do you still wish to continue? Yeah. To pass beyond this point means accepting the consequences of your actions and whatever else may come. Do you still wish to continue? Your fate will be sealed and there will be no one but yourself to blame. Do you still wish to continue? Yeah, of course. All of our actions have consequences. What? He decapitated him. The Black Sun? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, sorry, but you need to go too. First boss, Samuel Resplendent. And Garde. Back up. I outrange him, so... That wasn't that hard. I don't know. Of course it is. The Sanctum's a doomsday cult. Your kingdom of heaven? The darkness, I feel it closing in. The Neo Sanctum, its time is coming. Side A, dead of a wish. Track 1, Extrained. I guess we're fine. I don't know what happened after we defeated Samuel. I guess they blew up the train. Well, we didn't expect him to betray him. Thanks for the help, Lily. Level up. Health up, charge up, power up, mind up, or sync up. One notable absence from Luca is the lack of a stamina system, so I may dodge roll or run indefinitely. So that's how we level up. Uh... We need to destroy the four fades and stop the rise of the Neo Sanctum. It's a weak nightmare.
Hey, we just started. That is true. Although, for the majority of my Luka playthrough, I use my basic mantra. Aha! In this game, it's called an Aria. Classic Soul. That was one of the better mantras in that game. We received Aqua. Each area has a unique moveset, hold action, damage type, stat scaling, etc. And I can switch between the mid fight or even mid combo. Let's take a look. Aria focuses on crowd control, applies, freeze. Soul is balanced, strong against nightmares, increases damage with successive attacks. It also seems to focus more on EPHE damage. I'm guessing EPH is this game's equivalent to magic damage. What could go wrong? Hello there. Oh please. I've encountered far more dangerous Danmaku attacks this past week. Whoa! Got boxed in. One more try on that. I keep getting boxed in. Move out of the way. I guess this is where they want me to crowd control them. That's how I'm supposed to do this. Another absence is the lack of healing items. Hmm? Ah, new familiar. Shotgun. And whenever an enemy's guard is broken, every strike against them deals guaranteed crit damage. Who is that? Found a health essence. Christian can use health essences in or out of combat to instantly heal all wounds and ailments. Black rewinds are consumed upon use. 
However, they do not regenerate at checkpoints and must instead be found in the world. Use them wisely. So this answers my question. In Luka, these regenerated at checkpoints. And, uh, I want laser for this. This is closer range. So I'll swap imposter there. Hmm? What's happening here? They're all dead. Let me check the other side. Oh, it's another checkpoint. Every time I rest up at a checkpoint, it respawns the enemies. Oh my goodness. They have a slow wind up, but their attacks deal a truckload of damage. And their range is fairly short. Lily, how did you make it ahead of us? The world's falling apart, eh? She has a point. We can't do this all alone. And besides, we should be doing this not for ourselves, but to save humanity. Dodge offset? Noted. Hold offset. Oh, so it continues through the dodge. I don't know if that was actually in Luca. Yep. Ah. Only in the full game. Whoa. Whoa. 
Back up, back up. Now let's try it again. Oh, oh boy, there's a lot of stuff happening. Soul works better against them. Claustrophobic combat arenas. Do you take extra damage from this? No, you take less. How about you? Soul is better against most of you. Eep! Ideally during this run, my corruption meter won't reach full. Is that Christian? Oh no, I remember you from the first game, I think. You have the same range as I do. I don't think that slowed you down. I'm more fragile in general, so I really need to play it safe. I'm guessing we're finding one of Christian's inner demons. Uh, thank goodness I have infinite stamina for this. You lose. Haunted highways. Ex Sanctum. Maybe. Another health essence. Considering how dangerous the members of the Sanctum are, that's a good idea.
not a boss. Whoa, I didn't see you. Uh... That wasn't that hard. Must have been a mid-boss. Oh gosh. I love Soul's heavy attack, especially how its range increases on successive strikes. Remember this for later. Nightmare! Oh no. Gotta help him. The Forgotten. 2v1. I'm one hit point. Freeze! That was a lethal. I got saved by my trait. Soul still deals more damage. Ah, got me. It raised my corruption meter by about seven percent. Something terrible will happen. This may be inevitable. Good, I can actually upgrade some of my stuff. Where am I? Okay, I'll have to loop back around. Round two. Can I parry you? Perfect. If I can parry their attacks, this fight will go a lot faster. Oh no! Rats!
Yes! Double parry! What does taunting even do exactly? Does that draw the attention of the enemies? Victory! And in the fight at full health, too. Thanks for the tag teaming, stranger. I guess so. Horns? Welp. Curse with the power of nightmares, eternally hunted. Rats. Christian has been marked. I remember the mark status in the previous game. That was revealed in New Game Plus, and that made the game much harder. Sounds like a deal. In order to reduce our corruption, we need to get high rankings in combat. Exacting. Every time I get an S rank, my corruption decreases by 3%. Uh, virtues. Perfect dodges and parries grant a small damage and grace boost. Yeah. Unfazed. Complete combat within a time limit. <laughs> Rosary. Unbroken, finish combat without breaking the combo. Easiest one so far. Adaptive. And the last one, unmatched. Deal with them. Soul is the best option. I recognize the sound of this area. I need to break through the guard. They always slash twice. Unless I keep parrying.
Gotcha. Doesn't break. Looks like this is going to be a parry and counter-attacking battle. Yes! Just three more cycles, and I should be able to win this. Playing aggressive is the optimal strategy here. Like they said, be bold, be beautiful. They take a lot of damage from the shotgun. That was fun. Untethered. Perfect dodges now slow time. That sounds awesome. Thank you for the training. Let's continue to the right end. More la. Pretty much everything I said during my Let's Try of Luca applies here, but this time it's even more polished. And to be quite frank, the removal of the stamina system was for this game's benefit. It was for the benefit of the combat system. It better maintains the speed and flow. You can also have excess health essences. The radio tower? They're gonna come back. Yeah? Uh, I disagree. Well, if you say so. See how that works out for you. Extermina. AKA additional modifiers. Up to 2%. So, as a demonstration, this increases damage and grace against the called and corrupted enemies. Didn't know we had more modifiers on top of the usual nightmares.
Good for you. There's some leftover nightmares here. Former golden child. What kind of favor? Mmm, I don't like the sound of that. I really don't like the sound of that. Oh yes, I want this. So you can purchase more health essences, but is this a limited supply? I do wish to purchase the rosary. After all that, Christian still has kindness. Not yet. Guess I have to find the locket now. Sure. It's exactly what I feared was going to be inside there. Ugh. I don't like this at all. If you lay a finger on another child, we will be back, and no amount of begging will stop us from ending you. Found memory of Thomas. I need to purchase the other rosary. You, on the other hand, thank you. I wonder if this call is randomized. Sure. We all can use help sometimes.
more like their end. Embrace the stasis. You're blindfolded. The deserter. Lily! I don't know if embracing the stasis is what I would do. It sounds like you're just accepting giving up. But they do raise a point. Why does the Sanctum keep persisting? Phase 2. Because this is a demo, I'll waste one. It didn't have to end this way. And thus, this concludes the demo. And if I haven't made it clear enough, I'm definitely wishlisting this on Steam. Luca was a sleeper hit for me. Going into it, I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. But the more I played it, the more I became engrossed in its combat system and very messed up world. And this carries over both of those things, while managing to further refine the combat system. Combined with how there's no more stamina system, it really feels like it wants me to play more aggressively. And it still has the very distinct, messy, chalkboard-esque art style, as well as haunting, unnerving music. By being less detailed, it forces our minds to fill in the blanks, and in many cases, making this experience feel more horrifying. I already know the Sanctum has done numerous terrible things. The Neo Sanctum seems like it's going to be even worse. At the same time though, we have to be careful so that Christian doesn't lose himself to the corruption. In short, awesome job as always, me less than three. I wish the best of luck to you. Well then, thanks for watching and have a nice day.